He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Curses! I can't shake him! Well, no use in holding back now! Let's see what this baby can do! And... here it comes! Yes? Uh, here what comes? I, uh, -oh. uh I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? Uh, oh, what's going on? It should be the bank. Hey, Marty, we've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Um, I have no idea what to do now. Can I get a hint, please? Being transported. Where? Back. Back where? Back to the past. What do you see? Hill Valley, but it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is. Is what? Grandfather, big as life. Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by- I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! Oh. I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Wait. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! So now we know where to go. Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. Maybe this will take you back. Back where? I don't want to go back. Stay in the moment, Edna. Please, Marty. Don't interrupt the trance. Now what? Hint, please. Edna's grandfather, Marshal Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment, way back, in the future. Use the mop on the cactus. It looks a bit like grandfather now, but he would never have walked around bareheaded. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. And we use the hat on the cactus. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, grandfather, how well you look. How well everything looks. How does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic to be sure, but all the buildings are so sturdy and well kept. And the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century, and I know the reason why. So it's why? not in the 20th century. They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state so of innocence. So this is before I nine. I think I could learn to it's like It's in 1885. <gasps> but who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street, lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Beauregard. Beauregard... Tannen. Tannen. Yes! Good oh my gosh. god, her face. Look at it. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... Uh, uh, a what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something... A speakeasy. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. Now can we burn it? Can we burn it? No! Oh, get out! Get out! I want to burn it. Don't upset her, Marty. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning thing. Oh. An old saloon sign. Cool. 
Too bad it's all burnt. And we use the sign on the sh dummy dum dum dum. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon in Hill Valley. Oh, he can't do that. Grandpa, you can't let him do it. You can't let that snake ruin paradise. If they're all too blind to stop him, I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. I'll make sure this sinful establishment never opens its doors. I'll... I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very... conclusive. Mm, play over now? Burn it down? Please tell me we're burning it down. Can we bring it down now? No, you're doing it all wrong. It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. <laughs> Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. There you go. That's how she, she became the speakeasy arsonist. Beautiful! The devil's handiwork consumed by the fires of righteousness! <laughs> burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. She did. Uh, oh. Heavy to the metal. What is it, Edna? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look! It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. She's a hooligan. <laughs> Is she, are we good? <laughs> <laughs> you think? Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Ooh. Hill Valley destroyed by fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. July 17th, 1876. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in oh, me Lord. by the town of Hill Valley, well, you're the only one in Hill Valley. I sentence you two criminals hey. to you. How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in the Hayesville Herald. Two months worth if you shoot those fellows. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law, and you never break the law, right? Oh. This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. Thank you, Mr. McFly. Thank you for saving us. Oh. I might be a hidden arsonist. There we go. There's Beauregard Tannen's half finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where oh. the DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now, we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back. You go through the front. Got it. <laughs> I'd better not get too close. <laughs> I'd better not get too close. Hmm. Edna, stop. It's just me. Mr. Sagan, what are you doing here? I was gonna ask you the same question, Miss Pickford. Isn't it obvious? I'm putting an end to your den of iniquity before it starts. I don't think so, Mary. 
I don't like shooting women, but no one comes between Beauregard B. Tannen and his livelihood. Tannen, stop! If you shoot her, she'll drop the torch, and this whole place will burn up. Edna, stop! If you drop that torch, he'll shoot us! Looks like we're at something of a standoff here, Mr. Tannen. I don't see a way out, unless somebody manages to disarm both of you at the same time. How the hell am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Man, this thing is not light. It's right over his head, but I can't knock him out while Edna's still holding that torch. Why are you so hell-fired determined to middle? Mm. 